Hello, I got Chris from one of this tire rim right here, and that's for a show to do. But real quick, guys, if you're looking for what I consider to be the best 3D modeling tutorial on the internet, I recommend checking out my Udemy course. It's got tutorials on Blender, 3ds Max, CAD programs such as Plasticity and Moai 3D, and a lot of ZBrush as well. So if you want to master a variety of programs to really bring your skills up to the next level and master 3ds Max, Blender, ZBrush, and Plasticity, be sure to check out that course. Link is in the description. Let's continue. All right, so let's start with the cylinder. And let's give ourselves 128 signs. Now, you may think that's a huge amount, but remember, we only need to work on one-eighth of this. Not even one-fourth, one-eighth. So 128 divided by 8 is just 16 right here. That's all we need. So I'm going to center this. I'll make it transparent and I'll actually rotate the reference image a little bit just so it's a little bit more even here. So as always, I want to give you kind of the general workflow. You can feel free to spend more time getting more accuracy. And also guys, if you want to make a request yourselves, please check out my Patreon at the $40 tier is how you can make a request. All right, so I've got this. And I'm just going to fine tune things a little bit. All right, we can apply it to poly and pretty much what I can do here is just delete this. So pretty much just left with this right here. And we can just use new edit apply modifiers. All right. So I'm going to start by selecting this loop and then I'm just going to hold down shift as I extrude inwards. All right, here I'm using pure ref to get another angle here as well. All right, so I've got this now I can extrude down. extrude inwards and then extrude inwards again and then move it down all right again something like that let's use a new edit modifier all right so here what i'm going to do is just to extrude right here as you can see it's almost perfectly all symmetrical here except there is just an extra detail right here that we can just model at the end. Pretty much everything else here seems to be perfectly symmetrical all around. So all we need to do is model, let's say, just this one eighth right here. Symmetry, 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 and then do that at the end. All right. So at this point, I can just, let's say, start with this. So extrude all the way let's say right here all right so as you notice what's happening here is we've got this upwards curve happening here and that is happening seems to be around here so what i can do is then just kind of move this up now i can insert loops and get this gradual effect All right, now I can, for example, chamfer. You can hold down Alt to increase number of sides here. I don't want to go too much. All right, there we go. Let's use a new edit modifier. All right. So we're going to ignore the center for now. Let's spend some time over here. So what I'm going to do to make sure we've got the correct part here is I'm going to just use slice. I'm going to press A to activate angle snap, right click here, 22.5. Now I can rotate around here. All right, I'm going to copy and paste. And I'm going to rotate, all right, and then copy and paste. All right, so that should leave us with 16. All right, there we go. So this is all I really need to work on, at least for this part. And we can mix things up once we get to the center. All right, so let's apply symmetry. And let's rotate around here. 
and then we can do it once more here and then once more here. If you're using 3ds Max 2022, you've got, you can do all this on a single signature modifier. But for now, I'm still using 3ds Max 2021. All right, we can now start to insert loops where we want this to occur. We can also just apply Turbo Smooth as well, just to see how it will find the look. As you can see, we're getting a little bit of this happening here, so I'm going to remove that. Looks like there may be some curvature happening here as well. Next, we got to get this piece here. So in order to get that, we can start with, let's say, somewhere around here. All right, now what I'm going to do here, let me just weld real quick, all right, is I'm going to bevel with zero or extrude as well. Hold shift to convert to the border and then straight. I've got that set to hot key. You can also go into loops, loop tools. And right here you can use straight. And after that, we're going to weld because we got some extra vertices right here. So we're gonna just control A weld. We can even use 0 0.001, that should work as well. All right, now I've got this. Now you can see because of the cylindrical nature, you can see how it's wider here and thinner here. So what we're gonna do is use by angle and planar on the x-axis, maybe move it a little bit to the right as well. There you go. If you get a little bit of this, you can actually in reference image, we're getting a little bit of that kind of filleted effect here as well. So we can just allow crease to take care of that. Although if you want, you can get rid of this just to have no triangles here. All right. We're also gonna do the same for this as well. You can see, it looks like this is kind of curving out a little bit here. We can take care of that later using, for example, rotate. All right, so. Once again, extrude. Hold shift and click here to convert to the border edges. All right, so we can later work with this to rotate into place. So we can just leave this for now. We can also later straighten this out as well. Actually, let's do it now. So in order for us to do this, we need to rotate all this so that it's in the middle right here. What I'm going to do is to select this, switch to rotate, pick, pick the object itself. And then for this, switch to the third option, use transform coordinate center, which is now going to allow us to rotate around here. We can get this like so. And so now what we can do is just use by angle. And once again, planar on the X axis here as well.
Looks like I got some strange shading here. Let me check if there's multiple vertices. That may just be a shading issue, so I'm just going to clear this within groups. All right, we're now going to rotate that back into place. It looks like I've got edge constraints on. All right. All right, and there we go. And actually, we can go ahead and rotate as well. So I'm actually, I'm going to undo that. So what I can do is use my angle to select this. All right, and just kind of rotate this. I'll switch back to, let's say, world. Right, it looks like it just goes straight here, so we can just hold down shift to select this. Shift, left click, hold, left click, straight. And just for television, it may be a good idea to have some segments through here as well. 